Welcome to the Hamilton section of the Waikato Expressway. When this project is completed in 2020, the Waikato Expressway will extend 102 kilometres from the Auckland Motorway at Bombay to south of Cambridge. The Hamilton section is one of two sections that will complete the expressway when they open in 2020. The Waikato Expressway is a road of national significance identified by the government. It is really important for unlocking the economic growth of the region and the nation. When the Waikato Expressway is complete in 2020, it will reduce travel time, it will improve connections for freight, business, commuters, it will reduce fuel costs and improve road safety. The contract to design and construct the Hamilton section was awarded in 2015. This project will cost $637 million to design and build. That makes it the Waikato's biggest ever roading project. So building it will provide hundreds of jobs and an additional boost to the local economy. Designing and constructing 22 kilometres of expressway generates some big numbers. Imagine this rugby field piled high with dirt, 8 metres high. Then imagine this rugby field 100 times over. That's how much dirt will be shifting, over 4 million cubic metres. Then imagine a metre wide concrete footpath from Hamilton to Napier. That's 280 kilometres. That's how much concrete we're pouring on the project to build 16 bridges. We're building five interchanges so that Hamilton will have five major connections to and from the city. And we will be laying over one million square metres of quiet asphalt. That's a two lane road paved from Hamilton to Rotorua. Because it's a big project and we're touching lots of communities, the New Zealand Transport Agency has formed an alliance with the suppliers. This delivers the best outcome for all. It provides the greatest result and pulls all the combined knowledge of the companies involved. Partners in the Alliance are the New Zealand Transport Agency, Fletcher, Becker, Higgins, Coffee and Hick Brothers. When the Transport Agency awarded the contract for the Hamilton section in November of 2015, a large team of designers were assembled in Hamilton and Auckland to re-examine the initial design, explore opportunities to improve it and carry it through to detailed design. In April 2016, the Earthworks team began enabling works in the north, constructing a haul road for trucks and installing culverts. Bulk Earthworks began in October 2016. The Earthworks team has begun building expressway embankments along roughly half the length of the project. In the north, construction began between Lake Road and Gordonton Road. Further south, construction was focused on the southern interchange at Tamahiri and the Ruakura interchange between Morrinsville Road and Ruakura Road. At the same time, the bridge construction team began building the high priority bridges. These are the bridges that the dump trucks and motor scrapers will use to haul sand over the rail line or under local roads next summer, so they don't disrupt road or rail traffic. The expressway crosses 10 local roads, two state highways and the East Coast main trunk rail line. By the end of 2017, 13 bridges will be complete or under construction. With staff coming together from six organisations, we've worked hard to build a safe, consistent project culture that ensures all of our staff go home safe to their families. Before we begin constructing anything, we build sediment retention ponds and earth walls around each site to contain runoff. Sediment in the runoff settles out in the pond before water is released making sure that sediment does not harm stream life. Before we begin earthworks, we also need to identify contaminated sites. Asbestos has been identified in some buildings on site and has been found buried in dump sites. Specialists are called in to remove it. And before we install culverts or work in streams, our environmental team capture native fish and relocate them outside the construction zone. We've already relocated a number of species considered at risk. Black mudfish, giant kokopo, long fin eels and koura. To build bridges or embankments, we first need to remove trees along the route. Larger trees may be home to colonies of long-tail bats, so before we cut these trees down, we inspect them for roosting bats. 
Often they'd involve sending arborists up the trees to check every potential roost site. If bats are not present, we'll fill those roost sites with filler foam. This ensures the bats don't move in before the trees are felled. We also capture native copper skinks and release them into a pest-free lizard enclosure. Many of the gullies where these species live are full of invasive and noxious plants. To enhance these areas, the project will clear and restore 20 hectares with native plantings and pest control. Across the project, we'll plant 650,000 new plants, most of native species sourced from the local area. But exotic specimen trees will also be used to tie the project in with the local landscape. In everything we do, we work closely with our Tangata Whenua working group. This group represents our local iwi and hapu, and provides kaitiaki who inspect all earthwork sites where topsoil is being stripped, and to accompany our staff capturing and releasing wildlife. It's when we're stripping topsoil that we're most likely to come across archaeological sites. Known sites were excavated and investigated prior to construction. We've found evidence of large-scale kumara gardening near Lake Road in the north, a Māori garden in Tamahiri and a pioneer farming community in Matangi. On this project, we've made communication with our neighbours and our councils a top priority. Our environmental team are also working closely with the Department of Conservation. In the community, our focus on face-to-face -face contact with our neighbours and providing regular construction updates has been well received. We're working with schools to provide learning opportunities, student involvement with planting and gully restoration and careers in construction. And we'll keep you informed with regular videos updating you on progress.